Hi, and uh, welcome back to uh, this uh, Mega Man 8-bit tutorial. Um, at the end of the uh, first part, we uh, more or less established the image layer for the color reference and the pixel counting. We, ha we ended up counting what the uh, length and height is so we can start making our wall. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start that up. I went ahead and turned off my grid on uh, everything. If you want, you can just go and hit the individual grid button on each one, or you can make yourself uh, a grid uh, macro key. Um, really quick, the quickest way to do that is, if I remember correctly, you hold down Control and Shift, and go ahead and left click, and it'll just go ahead and pop that down to get rid of it. Middle mouse click it to this little trash can over here. It's a really cool tool to uh, keep in mind. You can make your own uh, custom bar, put your own little things down, make it all easily accessible for yourself. Anyways, back to the model. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start making this wall. Um, if you go to Create Polygon Primitives Cube, go into the Options box. You're going to want to set all these values to 1. I believe these are the default settings. So if you set Reset Settings, it'll pop it all down to here. Uh, make sure it's all 1, 1, and 1. We want everything to be at 1. Go ahead and create. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on the shaded view of each one of those. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this. Now, the first duplicate is the simple Control D and move it over. And we're going to move it over to a value of 1. Since these are all 1 apiece, each move to the side is going to be plus one. Um, after we make the first duplication, we're going to do a nice cool trick. Um, I'm not sure the name of it. Um, I'm sure I'll be corrected. But instead of hitting Control D, if you hit Shift D, it'll duplicate that previous cube, but at the same time move it over the equivalent distance you moved the previous one. So I guess I better show by example. Um, so let's go ahead and control D, make it, hit W for the move tool, move it over to the right, and you see it translates on the X, we want it to about 1. So let's go ahead and click up there, hit 1, and hit enter on the keyboard, not the number pad. Now with it still selected, now go ahead and hit shift and D, and it just goes ahead and copies and puts one over. Now what we want to do is duplicate this until we get 31 cubes up here on the top right. So as soon as this hits 31, we're good. That's what we want right there. After they're all, after you got up to 31, go ahead, drag a box over, select them all, and hit Control G to group them. Now after grouping, just like we did before, hit Control D once, go up once to translate Y on one. And with that done, hold a, go ahead and hit Shift D until this comes up to 24. And there's our wall. Again, like I said before, we're not worried about the placement of this image. Like I said, it's just there for the color reasons. So, uh, for the color reference. So, uh, let's go back into the front view. Go ahead and hit wireframe on shaded so we could see each individual cube. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to start doing the cookie cutter thing. We're going to start chipping away here. Now, with your piece of paper, uh, more or less look at this as being the wall and this also being your sheet of paper. So when you start putting the values down, you want to start at the bottom left. Like I like I mentioned in the last video, I didn't get too in-depth into it, but you start on the bottom left, on one of the bottom lines, just so you have a good idea of what numbers go where. And go ahead and put a 0, 0, since these are touching this border. And then a 1, 3, we'll come up to 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, and 14. Now that tells us how many pixels or cubes to go in on that 
square or on that line and how many to delete. So let's go ahead and do it on this side now. We'll start at the middle since this these are the ones touching the outside edge. So we'll more or less start at this bottom one since this is obviously two. Go ahead somewhere on the right side of your piece of paper in the middle. Start with a zero, one, three. Now you'll notice we have an empty piece here. Go ahead next to the three, do a slash plus uh, plus eight. So you know on the eighth block in to delete that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's block number eight. Now knowing that's block number eight, let's go ahead and count in a little more so we can get what this is. So this is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This will be number 13 right here. You'll have three 14s, another 13, 12, 12, 11, 10, 10. Now, let's go for the top. Start at the second zero right in the middle, and now we're going to go upwards. 1, 3, you know this is 8 already, 9 and 10. So do an, right with the 3, do a slash plus 8, 9, 10. Now we know this is 10 right here, so this whole face here is going to be 10. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, then 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now let's get this little spot right here. We're going to count from the left in, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Next row up 10, 11, 12 again then 11, 12, 13, and then 12, 13. So having all those values now, we can cut this guy. We can go ahead and cut into this wall and get rid of the cubes we no longer need so we can finally get the figure. So we'll go ahead and get that done really quick, and that'll be the end of this uh, second part. Uh, the next video, we'll go ahead and go into the coloring. So uh, let me not get ahead of myself. Let's see. I have the values written down here, which I hope you did as well. If you didn't, at least you have an idea of what to do in, in case you want to you know, do any more of these. Um, so we're going to go 0, 0, 1. Hold down Shift, and let's go ahead and highlight all these at once. We've got a 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, three groups of three, or three lines of three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, and fourteen. Now let's go ahead and start from the top here. We know this value is going to be fourteen as well. Let's double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's get rid of one of those. All right, that's 14, 13, 12, 11, three groups of 10. No, I'm sorry, four groups of 10. This is the one that goes in three and then takes care of the 8, 9, and 10. 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, now 13, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 3, 14s, another 13, a 12, and 11 and 2. Okay, it looks like I messed up somewhere. So let's start at the bottom here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2 tens. This one should be 11. And we had two 12s, I'm sorry. So we have 10, 10, 11, 2 12s, 13, and 3 14s. Now, you'll see we still have those all selected. If you want, go ahead and hit delete now. Um, or if not, Keep holding it down and we can get this uh, middle spot really here really quick. So it's going 10 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
Okay, 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, and then 12 and 13. Go ahead and hit delete. And there is our cutout of Mega Man. May not look like much right now, other than a silhouette, but in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start grouping a lot of these pixels together, so it'll be easy for us to add the color. So, uh, yeah. Um, hope you're enjoying this so far, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.